Yes, here I am. Outside, cooking in my trash can again. I think you'll be uh, interested to see what I'm cooking this time. And actually, I'm not cooking, I'm smoking. And I had to move this to the back of the house because the wind's coming out of the northwest and it's 36 degrees out here. We had snow just a few minutes ago. And this time I'm using pecan wood. And I've got my temperature set to 130. I've got to go get my lighter. Take that shit where you're at. Have a chip starter, huh? <laughs> Yeah, it's all funny, ha huh? ha, until I make bacon. <laughs> now, this has to smoke for three hours, and then I'll start cranking the temperature. Right now I got the temperature about 130 degrees. So we'll be back. Bacon trench. Okay, I actually set time on this instead of temperature. And it's like I said, 54, so it's kicking in and out like it's supposed to. So let me lift this up real quick so you can take a quick look. There we go. Three hours. We'll be back. So the trick to getting this thing started really was that propane torch because it's going good now so just have to have some really good flame but as you can see right there you can see it's coming out the hole so over here out the vent so pretty soon we'll have pecan smoked bacon mm. as you can tell we got our first snow of the e of the year. Okay. okay. I gotta get this internal temperature of the bacon up to 130. Stick it in the fattest piece. So I'm going to crack this 77 here. So. Get that up. Oh, that's just gotta. I've gotta get this to 130 internal temperature. Yes. And this can actually be unplugged now, so. The smoking part is done. That worked pretty good on that and stuff, but I'm still having some problems with it staying lit. But I think maybe if I had some sawdust mixed in with my chips, it would help. And I, in my after we're back in the house, I thought about it. Let's just see what this looks like. So, we've got the temperature cranking up now. So, See we can get to. All right, we got our internal temperature 131 right now, so I'll turn that off. There we go. And what this actually is, this bacon, it's Boston butt that I split in half and took the bone out. So the thickest piece is probably about like this. So anyway, we'll get that off. And then I'll get it in the house to cool it down. And then we will slice it. And maybe tomorrow until I get around to slicing it. 
So anyway, I just thought maybe you'd like to see bacon. And I'll show you what that looks like sliced. It looks just like a piece of bacon. So anyway, that's it. I'll show you the completed process when I get done.